Hello, it is Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday crossword, which means we're going to be solving another... That's a strange way to phrase that. We're going to be solving another, hopefully relatively gentle, themed crossword, like we did yesterday. And it's another debut, which makes me wonder if there's something... We've had so many debuts recently. I wonder if there's some... If we're in the middle of some sort of... Um, uh, I don't know, themed period in which, or or maybe some initiative in which they're bringing in uh, a number of new constructors. I don't know, but it, it has seemed striking. In any case, this debut themed edition of the Daily Self has been brought to us by Quotidiophile, Overfull Hitbox, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are, of course, sustaining this series and bringing us this channel. I'm very appreciative uh, of those efforts, as I am of the efforts of all of the patrons of the Daily Self Patreon campaign. So thank you so much to them. Thanks to you if you're among that group. And if you'd like to consider becoming so, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link on the description field underneath the video. There you can find the bonus videos available to patrons as well as the exclusive mug for benefactors. And I'm due another, uh, well, we're due, we're all due, us patrons, I guess, we're due another edition of the Bosswords Fall Themeless League. So I, I need to get onto that. Uh, so look for that in the coming days. And uh, thank you again to all of the patrons. Do also subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying these videos. You'll stay abreast of new releases, and it's a help as well to me. And finally, there is, of course, the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which you can join to uh, hang out with other members of this community. It's a nice, friendly place, and there's a link in the description field. All right, let's get on to the puzzle. As I said, this is a debut construction by our, uh, our creator today, Troy Ledka, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. It is a themed crossword, and we can see some shaded cells peeking through the gauzy privacy veil. So uh, we'll, start, we'll have to find out what is going on with them. Anyway, let's start solving. All right, it's a sort of, it's an S, I suppose. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll find out what that means. Gave up a seat, maybe. Moved, I'm not sure. Slings mud at in a campaign. Eh, we'll just keep going through the acrosses. Apathetic reaction, meh, maybe? A way to refer to something without expressing really any strong opinion. Hanukkah centerpiece could be a menorah, the, um, uh, you know, the sort of candelabra, the candlestick uh, holder. Uh, shapes of some curves. An S, as we have depicted in the grid. Right, I wonder if that is relevant. It might. It might not be part of the theme. It's probably just a little... Tip of the hat to the theme. Letters before colon slash slash. Uh, HTTP, hypertext uh, transfer protocol, which uh, prefixes non-secure URLs, uh, web addresses. Okay, MTV Prize whose trophy features an astronaut. <laughs> I have no idea. What does that mean? So it's an award ceremony, I suppose? Oh, is it the MTV? Is it the MTV Music Awards or something like that? I'm not sure actually what the name of it is. Sorry. Let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, B. Arthur sitcom of the 1970s. Oh, is it Maud? I've never seen that, but I'm sort of vaguely aware of it. I think that's the answer. I'll leave it in there for now. Like the legs on a 48 down and a 48 down, we can see over here says, oops. Creature that grows longer in a classic video game. Oh, also in this puzzle, when it eats a black square. Right. Okay. That is the snake. So that's the theme. I've, I've, I didn't expect that to be the theme, actually. I, um, I thought it was just going to be a compound clue, but uh, we've, we've found the theme. And it is like in the old um, game, I think most associated with early uh, cell phones, little pre-smart cell phones, um, Nokia's and the like. And uh, you'd, you'd, you know, guide the snake around the screen. And when you would, when the snake would intersect a little black pixel, 
it would grow slightly longer. And we can see our snake doing exactly that, intersecting a number of black cells and presumably having grown longer as a result of it. Um, anyway, here we happen to be on this clue and it says speak hoarsely is to rasp, which I sometimes do on these videos. Like the legs on it. Okay, right. So we're back to this. Like the legs in quotation marks on a 48 down. So like the legs on a snake. I'm not really sure what that's getting at. Is it, is this some sort of, uh, expression maybe the sort of like the, that's as crazy as legs on a snake or something like that. But I, I don't think I recognize it. So I'm not sure. John who sang crocodile rock. That's Elton John. And uh, if one teaches something, one instructs uh, that thing or person, I guess, more accurately. In the open air as a meal. Al fresco is a term um, often used to describe eating outside at a, uh, in a sort of terrace area of a restaurant, which became very popular um, uh, during the COVID period. Ancient inhabitant of Scotland could be a Pict. So um, one of the, I think to some extent, uh, I guess you could say sort of ethnic groups or demographic groups that inhabited uh, Scotland before it was Scotland, before, you know, before it was a sort of single polity in the way that we understand it now as, a, as, as um, there's the Picts and the, uh, well, that's annoying. I can't remember. I can't remember the other sort of major one that's, that's frustrating. Well, I'd know it if I saw it, but anyway, there we go. That's who those are. Bluish purple flower, an iris and Aldo of fashion, uh, Aldo Gucci, right. Of the, of the eponymous fashion house. Right, so here we have the legs on the snake. The legs on the snake are, oh, vestigial, right. Okay, there we go. All right, so sort of, um, I don't know, how would you how would you define that? It's sort of uh, kind of evolutionarily obsolescent or something, you know, sort of, I don't know. But yes, there we go. So Roman goddess who is the equivalent of the Greek Nike. Um Is it Victoria for victory? Because Nike is the goddess of victory. I actually, it's funny. I, I'm sort of just inferring this. I, I don't remember encountering the goddess Victoria. I, I don't actually know that this is correct, but, but Nike is the goddess of victory. So I have to assume this is right. Victoria, that seems like it would be. Maybe I'll leave out this, the, the suffix just in case I'm, in case that's wrong, let's look at this number in the Gettysburg Address, right? So the Gettysburg Address, uh, as delivered by um, President Abraham Lincoln, begins four score and seven years ago. So uh, four score meaning 80, so 87 years. Certain nest eggs in brief, which is how you, <laughs> which to my unending bafflement is basically how you you say the word 80 in French, which is quatre vingt, which is four times 20. And I find that astonishing. <laughs> um, certain nest eggs in brief, although not in Belgium, I believe. In Belgian French, I think uh, 80 ha actually has its own word, which uh, I guess I actually don't know what it is, but it would, I mean, it would be something like wheat sauce or something. I don't know actually what it would be, but but uh, but I don't think they use that. I think they use an actual word that is unique to eighty. Anyway, certain nest eggs in brief are IRA, so individual retirement accounts, uh, which um, is a uh, is a tax advantage sort of savings uh, investment account in the United States. So a nest egg in the sense of a of retirement savings. Uh, Malik, uh, Malik of Mr. Robot. I've never actually seen this, but I do know that it stars Rami Malik, the actor. And channel for armchair athletes could be ESPN, the uh, U.S. sports network. 
A little troublemaker could be an imp, a sort of troublesome child. Okay, this is this will be Victoria. Brush up on old skills would be uh I can't I can't immediately see it. Sorry, what about this? Cleaning cloth is a rag, I suppose. Um brush up on old skills. I don't know why I'm not seeing that. Uh, here we have lead into mode, so a la mode, which could mean uh, sort of in in French could mean sort of in style or um, with ice cream is how it's how it's used in North American English. Gateway to the West on scoreboards. Um, St. Louis, I think. Oh, so to brush up on old skills is to re retrain. There we go. Okay. Uh, to feature in could be to star in a film, for instance. Composer Zimmer, who won Oscars for The Lion King and Dune, would be the, the film com film composer Hans Zimmer. And Pass Without Notice would be to... Uh, to what? Pass Without Notice. Sneak by? Sneak in, sneak by? I think probably sneak by. What about this? Frustrated Cries. Drats, I suppose. This looks like vicar. Yes, it is. Clergy member is a, a vicar. So... I think most often used to refer to an Anglican priest, a uh, Church of England priest. Um, I don't really think I ever encounter vicar being used with other religions, with other denominations, maybe I should say. But I guess you do hear the Pope sometimes being referred to as the vicar of Christ. But that feels more like a one-off sort of idiom rather than kind of actual sort of semantic usage. Common recyclable. I don't know. What about this? Wild pigs are boars. So what is the... Oh, soda can. That'll be it. Common recyclable. All right. Here we have brightest light in Cygnus. So uh, this will be a star. Uh, Deneb is a star, so I think it must be this. I mean, I, I wouldn't have known that if you just asked me cold, but it does seem to fit. Gave up a seat, maybe. Right. I thought that maybe this was moved. I don't know. Let's look at the downs. Smelly smell would be an odor. Okay, it's not moved. Ensemble is a an outfit. Right. So you could refer to a group of people. Um, oh, they've got a they've got a good looking outfit over there. Good ensemble. Okay, like basketball players vis-a-vis -vis jockeys, typically. Um, taller, yes. Basketball players, uh, famously tall. And jockeys, horse riders, um, famously short. Um, th those, I mean, those traits, I suppose, sort of are, are broadly speaking, natural advantages in those sports. Gave up a seat, maybe. If one gave up a seat, one uh, stood. I see. Okay, so for instance, you're on, I, you're on the metro, you're on the subway, and you give up your seat, you stand. That that makes sense. Slings, I mean, it could be in any other context as well, but that's that's the one that comes to mind for me. Slings mud at in a campaign. Oh, a smear is your political opponent. There we go. So the, the co-op that sells camping gear is REI, which is a US-based cooperative outdoor uh, goods and clothing retailer. And here we have uh, an abbreviation for mademoiselle is to French as an abbreviation of senorita is for Spanish. And these... Uh, these um, colons here are, are indicating this analogy. That's their analogy indicator. So uh, you read it as mademoiselle is to French as blank is to Spanish. And it just means the relationship between these things is the same. All right. Paid spots could be ads. So paid advertisements, um, ad spots, uh, promotional spots. Crime lab evidence would be DNA, uh, as we all are familiar with from crime-based television shows and things like that. An eye for the eye. So here we have eye meaning an affirmative response. And then here, of course, we have eye, the, the uh, body part that enables us to see. So what is an eye for the eye? A nod, I see what it's saying. So a nod. In other words, it is an affirmative response that is visual because it is for the eye, not the ear, I suppose. So it is a nod. 
Here we have a frustrating find while folding laundry would be one sock as opposed to a pair of socks. And a door handle would be a door knob. SNL alum Carvey, so Dana Carvey is a, is a comedian. What else do we have? We have an ugly beast could be an ogre. Justice Gors, uh, Gorsuch is um, uh, Neil Gorsuch, the um, relatively recently appointed Supreme Court justice. So, blank state Idaho nickname. I don't think I know that. Is it the gem state, maybe? Rulers of the Aztecs and Incas, emperors. Well, that helps. So, it is the gem state, Idaho. Uh, sewing targets could be rips. You could you could repair a, a rip in fabric or clothing by sewing it. Oh, here we have another uh, Supreme Court justice, Elena Kagan. So, we've got... Uh, two of them crossing one another. In your dreams could be as if, um, where sticky fingers might be caught. Oh, the cookie jar. <laughs> right, so I suppose sort of stereotypically you could have maybe um, an impish child reach into the cookie jar and uh, get their hand stuck in there, or, or I suppose it's not so much getting stuck, but it's, you're getting caught with your hand in the cookie jar in the sense that you're spotted with your hand in it. Um, but there also is the fable. Is it one of Aesop's fables, maybe, um, about, I, I mean, it might not be, I can't remember, but it's the story of the, I don't know, boy, I suppose, who uh, reaches into the candy jar, perhaps, and tries to bring out too, uh, too many and is told, well, if you just, if you just let some of them go and tried to bring out few, you'd be able to fit your hand out. And he sort of refuses to do so. So his greed prevents him from uh, being able to pull his hand out. And that was what I thought of first when I, when I read this, but I don't think that is what is being referenced. So there we go. I'm digressing quite a lot today, aren't I? Sunday morning error. Um, I don't know, but I assume b based on the C here and the fact that it's three letters long, I assume this will be CBS and it's referring to a network television uh, program that that is my my assumption uh away from work for short o o o for out of office which i which i mistyped as o o f at one point in a recent crossword and then somebody replied and said oh that's what i've always done and then someone else said some offices in fact use o o f so that is absolutely fascinating because i don't know what it would mean it doesn't seem to fit any sort of abbreviation. And yet I typed it. Other people said they did as well. So I don't know. Anyway, I mean, I get it in the sense that it looks like sort of O of, you know, out of, but it doesn't, the F doesn't actually stand for anything. It just happens to be one of the letters in of and office. But yeah, anyway, help is SOS, the sort of universal distress call, and eventually brought results of... Uh, Something eventually brought results. It, it bore fruit. Your, your, your efforts finally paid off. A Parisian papa could be payout for father in French. And to stick out would be to jut out like a protrusion sticking out of something. And so on, etc. You, you know, and so on and so on. Things keep, keep going in a list. Language of ancient Syria would be Aramaic. There we go. Have I spelled that? Correctly, I think so. Uh, native language in Oslo. Uh, Norsk. Is that right? Like many appliances in modern homes. Uh, smart, as in these days we have smart refrigerators and things like that. Uh, La Bamba would be a 1958 Richie Valens hit. One way to be taken... Taken... I'm not sure. I'll have to look at, look around. Motor mouth blank. Hairspray roll for Queen Latifah. I've not actually seen hairspray, so uh, I'm not sure. It could be something like Maybell, maybe. One way to be, oh, maybe it is, because one way to be taken could be taken aback. There we go. Uh, if you're affronted by something. Let's go back up here. Mount Olympus figures. So that is, of course, the site of the, uh, of the, the Pantheon of the Gods who sat on Mount Olympus in Greek myth. 
um, one where one might be represented by an avatar online, I suppose, Gen sort of generically. Take home, if you take, so this could be net as in net income. It's your take home pay. I just realized we've got a blank prize up here. Right, this is that MTV prize thing. So a bit of yoga equipment is a mat, a yoga mat. And ice bucket, ch ice bucket challenge cause for short, right? This was a big fad um, uh, a year ago to benefit uh, ALS, the the disease. And then MTV Prize, whose trophy features an astronaut, is VMA. Oh, Video Music Awards, maybe? I think it might be that. Anyway, let's jump back down to the bottom of the grid. This really does look like Maybell, doesn't it? So let's put that in. Erase could be to delete something. Transcription pros are steno stenographers who you know transcribe things in real time as they're being spoken. Uh, here we have like 48 downs to Ireland. So snake, they're, they're alien to Ireland, right? And then of course you've got sort of famously, is it St. Patrick who expelled the snakes and so on? Um, panache is Elon. So uh, kind of do something with flair, with gusto, with panache. And then maybe not gusto, but but you know, flair, panache. Section of a long poem, uh, canto, I think probably most famously in Dante's Divine Comedy, but certainly not specific to that. And then places for patellas, so your patella, your, your kneecap, the place for that would be your knee. And then that is the solution. All right, there we have it. We had a, a snake winding its way uh, through the puzzle. And it's very appropriate to my solve today, which was also <laughs> winding my way inefficiently through the grid with plenty of fairly long digressions. So sorry about that. I dragged out this uh, this relatively simple Tuesday solve. Um, but there we go. We got there with our S-shaped snake in the end, um, eating up these black cells to grow longer. And um, And there we have it. That was the Tuesday crossword. And I think that was the, the that was the full theme. The only other, I think, arguably, the only other bit of the theme would be this little nod to it with shape of some curves. But I don't think you could actually consider this an element of the theme. It is just a little sort of, uh, I don't know, sort of Easter egg or a little a little reference. Uh, but there we have it. A nice a nice theme that essentially solves itself. Uh, we just have the reference to the snake video game. Uh, oh, and then a few other references to it. That's right, because we had snakes, alien to Ireland, and then the legs on a snake vestigial. So we, we had a few, we had a few other tie-ins in the grid. Uh, and there we go. That was that from our debut constructor, Troy Ledka. Welcome to him. And I did check yesterday's comments for uh, references to clues that needed, or to, to, um, Anything I might have said that needed correcting or explanation didn't didn't see anything. So no clues from yesterday's puzzle to discuss today. Um, I'll try and get back to that tomorrow again if there are anything if there are any examples to review. We'll see. All right, but in, uh, do join me tomorrow for the Wednesday crossword and midweek mid difficulty grid. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.